in the last few modules we have discussed some specific policies like related to education health and employment regulation or poor law now we discuss in a general way the development of welfare state in the 19th and early 20th century so welfare state was not popular we would expect now that you know everybody would be in favor of establishment of a welfare state in britain but it was not the case uh, even poor people were against it why because there was strong ethos of self help and self reliance so they wanted didn't want anybody's help they wanted to um, be self sufficient and self reliant and then of course it was coupled with a deep distrust of government why because government didn't care for them in the past they were brutal experience of workhouses and these memories were there uh, in the minds of the poor they would more go uh, prefer to go to the relatives and charities than to go to the state because state was not uh, considered a friend other avenues were also available so beside relatives and charities there were informal insurance and saving clubs at the local level so people would save collectively and then use those savings in the time of need there were also some formal insurance schemes provided by friendly societies and trade unions so trade unions when they were established uh, formally after in 1870 they also had such schemes to help the poor in the time of need another form of support was the building societies which helped in the construction of homes and such support was according to victorian values of self reliance and laissez faire however this self help as you can understand was limited only workers who had steady jobs could seek this help could go to could save something uh, could pay to the building societies for home or join the saving clubs unskilled workers who didn't have jobs regular jobs couldn't save much and so in the time of need they were crushed by the circumstances so in the late 19th centuries ideas about state help about social policy changed first came the concern about the children and women everybody understood that what is happening to them is not because of their own problems so old and children state had to take care of them and then this was women was added to it so women old men and children were considered to be the recipients of state according to the values of britain able bodied men were not considered at this time as um, regular recipients of state so government in the 19th century took a took ve was very ca cautious about the social policy they took very small steps uh, in this area they were not ready to take a major leap forward they only because there was strong opposition not only from those who uh, were supposed to uh, to be hurt by or to be you know their benefits decreased because of uh, the social policy uh, it was also those like poor people who would have benefited from the social policy 